going on? Here I'm in interview with SkySense and actually I'm with an Italian guy. Ciao Andrea. I'm with Ciao, Andrea, Andrea Poyati, he's the founder, CEO of Mosidio, everything I mean, is, uh, in SkySense. And he, I'm here because this product is just amazing. They have a pad that um, can be adapted to almost every drone and can make it rechargeable. Yeah. Why don't you talk about that? Uh, yeah, sure. So we are SkySense and we're building a um, um, charging infrastructure component for the drone economy. Mm -hmm. um, what you see here is a charging station that is compatible with most, mostly any drone nowadays on the market. And uh, um, it's made of a conductive platform, mm -hmm. made of many isolated tiles that can be dynamically activated. On the drone itself, there is one plugin that must be installed. Mm -hmm. In this case, the weight is 40 grams. It's basically made of uh, um, two spring-loaded contacts, one tech circuit, mm. and, uh, and a wire that goes straight into the power distribution board of the drone, charge a BMS or PCM. The drone lands on, this, on the platform, regardless of position, orientation, and size of the device. Mm -hmm. The two spring-loaded contacts touch physically. Somewhere. The, um, somewhere and uh, an electrical connection is established and the system starts charging. So what do you see as a, um, as a major, uh, major customer for this technology? We have customers mostly in the security and inspection markets. Mm -hmm. um, although we start seeing uh, some, uh, some activity also in the, in the agriculture recently. Since last year, it was really tough because, uh, as you know, the autonomous drone market is not really there. It's developing. And uh, the first experimentation uh, got into the field uh, um, yeah, between last year and this year. Mm -hmm. So since January, we see a little bit of growth mm -hmm. that gives us hope. We might be able to put the first units in production for enterprise customers by the end of the year. The question that I have is, this platform actually works great. I say it works great uh, as an indoor system. Does it, works even out, does it work even outdoor? So this is an indoor charging pad, mm -hmm. what you see here. What I'm going to show you, if you come yep. with me, and you point there. We also have an outdoor edition. It's very similar. It has. It's very similar to this one, um, but the difference is that yeah, it can work also if any, even if it's wet. Mm, mm, mm. The okay, I see. It. Same same principle. Just uh, outfit. Uh, so it's just been designed for bigger drones. So high power, higher voltages. With this, we can with the indoor charging station, we can transfer up to 350 watts. With that one, up to 500 watts. So, yeah. so it would take like for a drone like that size, probably a couple of hours to charge. Yeah, even less. I mean, it depends. Uh, it really depends just about the battery specification because uh, uh, we don't have a pro a pro problems with efficiencies or like inductive wireless magnetic resonance mm. uh, solutions. Uh, our solution is basically wired charging, so it cannot can't be faster than that. Can, when you guys fly or do any any trial testing, what what is the the frame or the configuration? Do you have any preference? With as an autopilot or or or, or frame or well, equipment, we see that most of uh, many customers uh, rely on uh, yeah, different technologies, including autopilot. Uh, thank you very much. It was very very interesting of you, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna follow. We're gonna go and explore this into drone again. We're gonna see what we can spot here uh, this year. Coming next.